Welcome to the Business Desk. Now, insurance group Suntam says it's had an unprecedented level of claims in the first half of this year. The group says this is negatively impacting profits. The insurer says it has been one of the most challenging periods in its history. Suntam CEO Tava Madzinga uh, joins me now via Zoom. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Let's just start off with you having paid a whopping 14.2 billion rand in claims in the first six months of this year. How much of this was flood related? Good, good evening, Heidi. Good evening, uh, viewers. So I think the first half of the year was definitely um, a very difficult year for us. We saw the perfect storm of weather, investment, volatility, um, inflation, economic pressure from inflation, and also load shedding, you know, coming through and affecting our underwriting margin. And so it is true that we did pay um, in support to our clients across the board an unprecedented 14.2 billion in claims. And of that 14.2 billion in claims, 4.4 billion related to the KZN floods. But I think it is important for us to recognize, I think that the real true loss was the loss of life that we saw in KZN. Um, coming back to Santam, of course, um, our reinsurance did provide effective protection. And so we saw the net losses coming through from KZN totaling 566 million. But outside of the KZN losses, um, we also saw significant investment volatility on our underlying bond portfolios. And then the third bucket of factors that affected our result was obviously inflation on our, our motor book. We saw an increase in uh, motor theft as well as increase in power surge claims from load shedding. And so the bucket of all those issues did lead to increase pressure on our underwriting margin. Mm, it certainly has not been an easy year. And just looking at what uh, rolling blackouts have looked like this year alone, uh, I'm sure that's also had a huge impact. I want to speak about your premiums. Uh, I've seen that they are going to be going up. What is behind this? Is it because of uh, the knock that you have taken or is it possibly due to inflation? Um, thank you, Heidi. I think it's quite nuanced, right? So if you look at our corporate... Uh, book, I think what we are seeing is increased pressure on reinsurance rates. I think there is pressure for us to be a little bit more, um, you know, critical and selective um, in our risk management approach to property business in the corporate sector. Uh, I think when you look at the personal line sector, it is true that we are seeing a surge in inflation. Um, and I think this is also affecting our clients. We're seeing pressure on disposable income. And so we've had to be quite measured in terms of how we think about increasing rates and uh, to a large extent being very empathetic with, uh, you know, just around those premium rate increases. Mm. Are you able to tell us who exactly will be feeling these price hikes? I know you've just mentioned that you have to be cautious as Santam and uh, of course have to look at all avenues, especially because of how tough things are for the, the consumer nowadays. But who will be feeling this the most? So I think definitely if we look at our property portfolio in the corporate sector, I think there we can expect uh, a hardening of rates. And I think that's also largely off the back of uh, our reinsurance support. And so I think if you do stand back from South Africa, I think what you're finding across the board is that global reinsurers um, risk for catastrophe um, risks is waning. And so to a large extent, it does mean um, that the cost of reinsurance, particularly for big corporate risks, has increased. And so we will see a, a hardening of, of, of rates in, the, in that respect. When we come to the man on the street, I think it is fair to say that, you know, we can expect that there will be um, increases in, uh, in, in premium rates. But I think, as I've mentioned, um, you know, we're doing everything in our power to make sure that those increases are measured. Um, but I think it is a reality that inflation is affecting um, the, the, you know, the whole economic in, environment. Mm, certainly, and, and that's definitely something you would have to factor in. I want to speak about uh, ESCOM and the ongoing power cuts, how this has affected Suntam in the first half, resulting in high uh, power surge claims. Can you quantify it and tell us what sorts of claims you, a you are actually seeing? So, so it is a reality um, that the rolling, um, you know, power power cuts are certainly increasing the number of uh, um, surge, um, you know, claims that we've seen in in our book. 
And I, and I think it is fair to say that, um, you know, across the board, um, this is obviously a concern for us. And I think it is a concern uh, for most businesses that are operating across um, here in South Africa. But um, I, I, I always like to point out that, you know, infrastructure challenges are certainly not unique to South Africa. Um, I think where we've seen significant catastrophe, um, um, you know, claims um, is that infrastructure challenges are, are again happening, you know, in places very far away. I think we saw, you know, what happened with the Australian floods, um, you know, the challenges with drainage. We've also seen what's happened in the U.S., um, you know, during the winter snowstorms in Texas where the power grid did, did fail. Mm. So I think it's important to put, um, you know, some perspective to the challenges that we are facing, that it's not unique to South Africa. And then I think across the board, um, just the impact of climate change is, is certainly real, right? And um, beyond that, um, you know, where we are seeing property values coming through, where there are floodplains, um, you know, buildings coming up, um, possibly, you know, where, where we shouldn't be putting up buildings. And so to a large extent, that's also contributing um, to the significant losses that we are, we're seeing across, across the board. But I think just coming back to the, um, the load shedding, um, I, I have mentioned that that is a, a significant factor. And so I think on, on, on our part, um, you know, we are quite keen to see um, just the efforts, um, you know, that the ESCOM authorities are putting in place to, to mitigate the risks of rolling um, uh, power cuts and in particular um, grid failure as a, as a major risk to our business. Mm, certainly. Let me tell you something, Mr. Madzinga. We all want government to do more when it comes to rolling blackouts. I think it affects every single aspect of life. And you, as Suntam, uh, of course, are definitely feeling that impact. But thank you so much for your insights. We do appreciate it. That was Suntam CEO Tava Madzinga speaking to us uh, about their recent financial results, KZN floods, as well as load shedding really causing a massive impact for them.